The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In the waters of baptism, Clara died with Christ and rose with him to a new life. May she now share with him eternal glory. In life, Clara cherished the gospel of Christ. May Christ now grant her with, now greet her with these words of eternal life, come blessed of my Father. In baptism, Clara received the sign of the cross. May Christ, may she now share in Christ's victory over sin and death. Let us pray. O God, who are mercy for sinners and the happiness of your saints, give, we pray, to your servant Clara, for whom today we perform the paternal offices of burial, share with your chosen ones in the blessedness you give, so that on the day of resurrection, freed from the bonds of mortality, she may come before your face. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and rules with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Daniel. 
I, Daniel, mourned, and I heard this word of the Lord. At that time, there shall arise Michael, the great prince, guardian of your people. It shall be a time unsurpassed in distress since nations began until that time. At that time, your people shall escape, everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some shall live forever. Others shall be an everlasting horror and disgrace. But the wise shall shine brightly like the splendor of the firmament, and those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? I believe that I shall see the good things of the on the beauty of the Lord to inquire at his temple. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. O Lord, hear my voice when I hearted and wait for the Lord. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the Paul to the Romans. Hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. For Christ, while we were still helpless, yet died at the appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person, 
though perhaps for a good person, one might even find courage to die. But God proves his love for us, and that while we were sinners, Christ died for us. How much more then, since we are now justified by his blood, will we be saved through him from the wrath? Indeed, if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, how much more, once reconciled, will we be saved by his life? Not only that, but we also boast of God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowds, everything that the Father gives me will come to me and I will not reject anyone who comes to me because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life. And I shall raise that one on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To all of you gathered here today, I extend my sympathy. And more importantly, I express my sincere prayer for the good woman that God may grant her the final and lasting blessing of a long life, the blessing of life unending with the angels and the saints in the joy of heaven. And I pray also that Clara's family and friends find within themselves the peace which only Christ can give because of his death and resurrection. And that is the final basis for peace and comfort and consolation on the funeral day of a Christian Catholic person. A blessed life, a long life of 97 years, 
What changes a long life such as that has experienced? Clara saw times of war and times of peace, times of fear and times of hope, times of victory and times of defeat. But through it all, and through all the changes that came to her in her long life, one thing was firm in place, one thing that did not change, one thing that was, could always be a source of comfort and hope to Clara. And those were the words of St. Paul in his letter to the Romans where he said, don't you know that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too will be raised to a new life. That marvelous teaching is the rock firm basis for our hope, our peace, our consolation on a day when we bid a final and fond farewell to the one who for so long had been a ref reference point in life for her family, her friends, her neighborhood, business partners, volunteer workers, her parish family. You know, friends, we live in a moment of history that is called post-Christian. Post-Christian, after Christian. Because so many have chosen to sail the boats of their lives free of any anchor to God or religious faith. Clara never did that. She lived with the humility which told her storms would push and batter the ship of her life. She chose to handle them with God's gracious, good, and constant care for her. With God and religious faith, Clara lived the vocation of marriage for nearly 70 years with husband Robert. Clara lived the vocation of parenting to Frank and John and Mary and Ralph and Ann and Joe and Karen. And living those two vocations of marriage and parenting, that is the stuff of holiness of life. A wonderful success in life is the parent and the godparent who can see smiles and confidence on the face of their children and grandchildren. You know, I'm sure that the beautiful name Clara means bright and shining and illuminating well, this good woman, Clara, is a bright, shining light to husband and children. She fashioned a home of which her husband could be proud. She made the good things of the kitchen and the oven, which rejoiced the spirits and the stomachs of her children. She brought from her motherly heart and her talent and fingers, the lasting and beautiful things which warm the bodies and the spirits of her grandchildren. To all the lives she touched in the business world and through 30 years of volunteering at St. Francis Hospital, Clara was a bright, shining, warm presence. Today we take comfort in each other's presence. 
for these final moments of prayer and mutual support in bidding farewell to the earth-bound life of Clara. But, good friends in Christ, the words of our Lord in the Gospel should be our final reference today. The Lord said, this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I will raise up that one on the last day. Clara's faith. Clara's faith in Christ, the crucified and risen one, is our faith, is our hope, our confidence, our comfort, our consolation, our peace on the day of funeral of Clara Topinka. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for his church, confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in him, we join our prayers. In baptism, Clara received the light of Christ, scatter the darkness now and lead her over the waters of death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Clara was nourished at the table of the, of the Savior. Welcome her into the halls of the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Many friends and families of our, and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Those, for those who spent their time and energy and interest looking after Clara in the last days and hours of her life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who have gathered here and to worship in faith. Lord, make us one in your kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers for our dead brothers and sisters, and most especially today for Clara. Forgive them and her their sins, and bring them to the fullness of your salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Friends pray that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Be near, O Lord, we pray to your servant Clara, on whose funeral day we offer you this sacrifice of conciliation, so that should any stain of sin have clung to her or any human fault that affected her, it may, by your loving gift, be forgiven and wiped away through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone he accepted death so that we might all escape from dying. As one man he chose to die so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, o Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Mm -hmm. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant Clara, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O oh glory and honor it yours forever and At our Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be always with you. Behold, the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servant Clara, who today has journeyed from this world, may by this sacrifice be cleansed and freed from sin and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection through Christ our Lord.
before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Receive her soul and present her to God, to God the Most High. Receive her soul and present her to God, to God the Most Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Clara. In the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessing which you bestowed upon her in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, Turn toward us, listen to our prayers, open the gates of paradise to your servant, and help us who remain to comfort one another with assistance of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May the choir of angels welcome you. Where Lazarus is poor no longer, may you have eternal rest. <laughs>